My name is Rachel and I love to do art. Well, I started painting about three years ago. Uh, I hadn't really done a lot of artistic things before that. My whole family is very artistic and creative and I always thought there was something wrong with me because everybody else, my, my mom and my sister make jewelry. Then I have this very strong urge to buy an acrylic paint set like three years ago, like an overwhelming urge. I just, I, I knew it sounded crazy and since I'd never touched a paintbrush before, but I bought one and fell in love instantly. I've always really, really liked math, but I'm not somebody that can just be completely geometric because I have a huge imagination. And so it's just kind of a combination of mathematical patterns and a really vivid, colorful imagination. I always start out with a sort of an idea, but as far as all of the little things, that just comes to me as I go. To me, this one talking about um, the pyramids and the sun and space and how just the concept of pyramids being a free energy system. This one is kind of almost like you're in a dream, how a dream feels when there's little bits and pieces that kind of go together but not all the way. My friend calls it the well because it pops out but it also goes in depending on how you look at it. I really like this one. It's called Fairy Dreams. There's a tiny fairy on a swing right there. Yeah, it's just fairy dreams because I've always, I believe personally that fairies are real and I think they're adorable. And I think they get mad that everyone forgot about them. So I made a painting <laughs> for them. <laughs> From the beginning, I knew I wanted to do big flowers up here and I knew I wanted this to kind of be like an adobe wall or like a, a cliff of some sort and so I did I started with the flowers and I made the stems drip down and then I kind of just went from there even within these tree trunks there's spatterings of the stars so it's just kind of showing how everything's connected and we're all kind of made of the same thing when it comes down to it and that's the idea behind most of my artwork I want to provoke thought and I also want people to just remember not to lose their imagination because I feel that when people get older they think it's silly <laughs> and I just you should never lose your imagination it's one of the most wonderful gifts that people are given to have an imagination remember that it's important <laughs> never stop dreaming or imagining or remembering that little kid inside of you because I think that's important for everyone to hang on to no matter how old you are. <laughs>